In this video, we're going to be going over the new legendary path packs coming in NBA 2K24, my team tomorrow. And as you guys can see on the screen, we got Amethyst, Devin Booker, we got Ruby, Stefan Jackson, we got Ruby, Amari Stoudemire, and then we also do have Daryl Dawkins. Uh, he is going to be the Sapphire, and then I assume there's going to be two more Sapphires, a couple of Emeralds, and a couple of Gold Cards as well. Also, it's Steven Jackson. I know I did call him Stefan Jackson. So... This looks to be a pretty decent drop just off the bat. And I want to talk about these cards, what I think they can look like. And um, it says, the nice thing is, it says, and how it worked for the first path, you know, for Damian Lillard. It says, available tomorrow in the player market and pack market with some players available via agendas, which if you guys know, worked for the first uh, legendary path for the Amethyst Dame. There's the Sapphire Mike Miller, Emerald uh, Robert Pack, Emerald Bryant Reeves, and also the Gold uh, Keith Van Horn. Those were the four free cards from the first legendary path set and i assume it's going to work very very similar for this one you know devin booker is going to be the amethyst lock-in you got stephen jackson and mario stoudemire daryl dawkins two more sapphires three emeralds three uh gold cards maybe four gold cards not exactly sure how many are in the set will lock in for that amethyst uh devin booker now talking about these cards here d book is going to be an absolute demigod like if you guys have used his ruby or even his sapphire card this year they are really unguardable like devin booker six foot five shooting guard six foot six wingspan apparently from some people in park like i've heard splash talk about this a lot the devin booker dribble style is one of the best dribble styles in the game right now so to have this card is going to be insanely overpowered on offense also with that quick jump shot i mean he's going to be a top shooting guard I, I know we got brandon roy we got clay thompson but this amethyst devin booker I think he might be better than clay because he'll be just as good of a spot up as clay you know with a great jump shot he may not be as good of a defender but he can create so much better than clay thompson with his dribble stick so i think he'll be on the level of clay maybe even a little bit better than clay thompson and potentially on the same level as a card like diamond brandon roy so devin booker at the lock-in set is going to be insanely overpowered and one of the best cards in the game just the problem is it's going to cost so much mt to lock in for you got two rubies that are going to sell for 70k so that's 140,000 mt right then you got the three sapphires which let's say one of them is free so the other two are going to cost you like 32,000 mt so now you're around like 175k then plus the other two emeralds that aren't the free ones is going to be another 14k then plus the gold cards like you're looking at almost 200,000 mt to lock in for this card if you just were to buy the cards off the player market 200,000 mt for a lock-in amethyst devon booker I'm just not sure if it's worth it now if this devon booker card was 200k mt and you could sell him back on the player market or auction house whatever you know whatever you want to call it if you if you could sell him back and only lose 10 percent tax then i think this card would be you know somewhat worth picking up for those people that have a lot of mt or have a decent amount of mt but the reason why it's kind of annoying that these cards are locked in like you have to lock in for devon bookers because if i want to go get this card now i got to spend 200,000 mt to lock in for but I guess, I mean, it's probably catered toward, towards more of like the all money spend players and people that spend a lot of money on this game to go ahead and get Amethyst Devin Booker. So I'm more looking forward to, you know, the Sapphires and the Emeralds and the Golds and potentially be a couple good budget cards. Now, I think Steven Jackson and Amari Stoudemire are going to be really good Ruby cards. I don't believe we have an Amari Stoudemire or a, a, a Steven Jackson. Do we have an Amari Stoudemire? I don't think we do yeah so we don't have any of these cards so far in the game so it's going to be interesting to see you know what jump shots they get how do they look stats and badges wise but i think these cards could be very solid and then daryl dawkins i don't believe we also i don't think we have a card of him uh we, we do have a free agent card you know six foot eleven at center he's got a seven foot three wingspan so that at power forward is actually really good if you want to run like a tall team but he can also play center and i think be a really good defender most likely won't have a three ball i'd be very surprised if he does yeah he's not gonna have a three ball but this card's gonna be most likely really good on defense so for like a budget inside center i think he could be solid yeah i just think for like a budget set it's looking okay so far we just got to see what the sapphires and the emeralds are looking like but yeah all around i kind of like the drop it's not anything too crazy there's only four car uh, four cards showed on the screen so we really don't know you know too much information about what's going to be coming out but let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about this new legendary pass set that's going to have the collection prize as amethyst devon booker the two rubies stephen jackson amari stoudemire and then the sapphire daryl dawkins are you guys potentially going to be locking in for d book and if you guys are confused this is one of the legendary pass sets there's going to be six of them they come out mondays wednesdays 
and I believe Fridays as well. So we'll get this Monday set tomorrow. Then we'll get another Wednesday drop. And then we'll also, I assume, get a I think we'll also get a Friday drop of these legendary path cards. And once we and once we get those six amethysts, then you'll be able to lock in those six amethysts from the le legendary path set to go ahead and get diamond shack. So that's what we're kind of leading towards. Shack is like the grand prize, you know, for all these legendary legendary path locking cards. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. Do you guys like these promos? Do you guys like this specific promo with these cards? And just let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions on this type of stuff. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.